So where in America can you go and stay in a lighthouse, a tree house, a um, teepee, and underwater? Well, that's what we're gonna cover today. Today we're talking about the eight most unique, funkiest places in America that you can stay this year even. So let's go ahead and dive in. Really quick before we jump into it, uh, I've been getting a question a lot lately, and it's something that I'm often asked over my you know, 20 years of working in this industry, and that is, with so many travel websites available today, how in the heck do I know which one to go to that's gonna really give me the best price, that's gonna actually give me information I can trust, that I can actually rely on? So, what I've done is we've put together a free resource to help you, to help, well, answer that question. If you'd like your copy, you can download it for free in the link below. Okay, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back into it. Alrighty, so since we, uh, as I'm taping this right now, we are still in COVID. Uh, I'm in October, 2020. So uh, we are still restricted to only staying within America for our immediate travel. Now, hopefully that will open up in 2021, but as we all know, every day changes and it may or may not open. So, oh, I wanted to give you some more options of things you can do in America so that you can stay in, in our country and be able to explore all of the really cool things that we have to offer. Because honestly, we could spend the rest of our days traveling America and still not see everything. So. What I did is I did some research to find kind of some cool, unique, special places that you may not have even ever heard of uh, and may not have even never stayed. Something to give you a little bit of a cool, funky, fresh place to stay uh, as you're going on your vacations in the coming months if you are planning to stay in America. Okay, before I jump into the actual places that I found the specific uh, resorts and places to stay, I wanna show you where I got it. So uh, this is called quirkyacom.com, and this is where I got most of the ideas, but this is not the only place that I found it, but this is where you can go to find kind of funky, quirky accommodations all over the world. What I did is I narrowed it down to the United States and then just searched through here and found the ones that I thought were the most cool and interesting. Uh, but you can certainly, I certainly did not, I'm not covering everything in here. So you can always go back to this website and find even more than what I found. I just pulled out the top eight that sounded the most unique and special, but there are certainly plenty more. Another place that you can go is to Airbnb. Uh, on the home page, if you click this unique stays, you can narrow it down to special accommodations, uh, interesting places such as uh, boats, tree houses, huts, castles, all different kinds of things. And then again, you can narrow it to the country that you're interested in. So these are two of my favorite places to go to find kind of something special, something, something different than your average hotel as you are traveling around our country, perhaps on a road trip. Uh, these are some great places to go to find the information. So on that note, let's go ahead and talk about the top eight places that I found that was uh, really kind of cool that I want to show you. The first place I want to talk about is a teepee. So this is the Wigwam Motel. This is on the famous Route 66 in California, actually. This is a part of the Route 66 that is in California. Uh, so as you can see, uh, I'm gonna scroll down here and show you, this is actually what it originally looked like when it was first uh, built in 1926 on Route 66. And it is known, Route 66, if you've never heard of it, is known as the highway that led people to the West, led Americans to the West. And I believe it picks up in Illinois, in Chicago, and then uh, comes all the way through to California. But if you are planning to take that road trip anytime in the next, well, forever, uh, this is a really cool, funky place that you might want to stay. Uh, I don't have any ho uh, pictures of the insides of the of the accommodations. Uh, it's pretty standard, so it might not be a place you want to stay for a long time, but if you come and stay at least a night, it is a really neat place that you can stay. You got to stay in a teepee. All right, the next place I want to talk to you about, and this also is in California, is the Featherbed Railroad, and this is a caboose bed and breakfast. As you can see, it actually ha has it where you can stay in a caboose and stay inside of one of these. It's a very unique way to see the area. This one is actually located in Northern California uh, near the wine country and also the lake country in Northern California. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of a view on the inside. It's not going to be super fancy, but it is certainly a very special and unique place to stay. 
So these are just a sampling of the type of rooms that they have, so you can see what the insides look like. Uh, this is, uh, as I said, near uh, the Northern California Winery and Lake region, so there's plenty of outdoor activities to do. So not only do you get to stay in a, in a cool train and have some information um, and be able to stay in some place kind of fun and unique, they also feed you. And from what I hear, the breakfast is pretty phenomenal. So the next time you're going through Northern California, be sure to stay at the Featherbed Railroad Bed and Breakfast. Now let's move on to the other hat side of America over in New York. And now this one is in the Catskills and this is called the Roxbury. Now, there are actually two locations that they have. They have the Stratton Falls location, and they also have a motel location. Now, what makes this special, as you can see from the photo, is it is everything, every room, every location is completely unique and fantastic in its own way. These are what are considered the tower cottages. Now these are in the Strat Stratton Falls location in New York. And these, as you can see from the photos, are actually really out of this world. I can't, I can't find another way to explain it. As you can see here, you can stay in some pretty fantastic, incredible, uh, quirky, I just, interesting places to stay. Now this is a place that you can come and probably spend several days exploring and just to be able to see all there is to see in your own accommodations, let alone all the things to see outside of the hotel and outside of the mansion. So the, the Stratton Falls location has tower cottages, which are the photos I just showed you, but they also have mansion rooms. Let me show you those. And these are just as funky as the others. Each one is decorated completely differently, completely uniquely. And it's just an incredible place to stay within the mansion here at the Stratton Falls location. They also have the motel location uh, for the Roxbury. And as you can see, just as fantastic as everything else. So even if you don't want to stay in the mansion or in a cottage, there's some really fancy, uh, really interesting, quirky places that you can stay in this resort as well. Uh, as always, I'm going to go ahead and link all of these below so you can get more details on the location and how to make reservations. But this is the next stop on our quirky, top quirky places to stay in America. Okay, moving on to staying on the East Coast, but going down to Florida, we are going to go undersea. Now, this is in Key Largo, and this is called Jewel's Undersea Lodge. It is the only undersea lodge uh, that you have to access via scuba diving. So if you do not have your scuba divers uh, certification, you can get training and you can get certified and be able to go. But if you've ever wanted to go scuba diving or you're an avid scuba diver, this might be the best place for you to stay. So it actually has underground lodging it's nothing particularly fancy, but if you want to stay underwater and be able to have a view out your uh, window, such as this here, if you want to have a view out your window of the fish and stuff in the morning, uh, this might be the best place to stay. They even have nightly pizza delivery for you, so they will actually bring the food down into, <laughs> into your lodging for you, but you get in and out via scuba diving. So this might be a really great place for you to go to say you spent the night underwater. Okay, the next one I want to talk to you about is staying in a cave. It is the Beckham Creek Cave in the Ozarks in Arkansas. And as you can see from the website here, you literally Literally stay inside of the cave and it is pretty magnificent. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and show you some more of the photos from inside. Uh, they actually, it's outfitted to be very modern as far as features go, but it is a very, very unique stay where you can stay uh, underground in the caves in, uh, in the Ozark. So it's pretty phenomenal. Uh, here are just some more photos of the different places, living areas and things that you can stay. Uh, the outdoor features uh, as you're exploring around in the cave. It is just magnificent. Uh, see here's some more photos, uh, just some interesting places that you can stay. Here's the shower inside of the caves. It is just incredible. It's, it's just kind of a funky, cool place. I believe this is considered a luxury place to stay. So it is gonna be on the higher end of the um, cost spectrum. But if you're looking for something completely unique and special, this just might fit the bill. 
All right, zipping back across the country to Oregon. This is the Treehouse Treesort. Yes, tree houses with, as you can see, bridges going through the resort. Uh, now, the, again, this is in Oregon. Uh, they actually have, uh, <laughs> as you can see, the winter wonderland. You can even stay here in the winter if you decide. And these are just some out, some views of the tree houses from the outside that you can see, some different things that you can do, different accommodations. This one's located in Cave Junction, Oregon. And as you can see, there are some very specific activities they have, including tree house zip lines, horseback riding, hiking, and so forth. So for an outdoor lover, this might be the perfect thing to do uh, to be able to enjoy and stay in a tree house and kind of get back in touch with your, your childlike play and wonder and stay at a tree resort. Okay. Now we're going to zip back across the country, back to New York, and we're going to talk about Execution Rocks Lighthouse. Now, this is only one of the lighthouse accommodations that I found on that quirky.com, and I believe Airbnb also has some lighthouses available, but I thought this one was particularly special because it is one of the historical uh, lighthouses available. Some of the lighthouses I found were just re recreations that people had built, uh, but this one's actually a historical lighthouse. It is also potentially haunted. <laughs> As with anything haunted, you never 100% know, but there have been stories that this one may or may not be haunted. So uh, you can actually stay here. It is typically for adults only because you have to climb a ladder to get into uh, where the lodging is. But this is someplace definitely historical and special and different and very, very cool. A place that you could say you stayed on your vacation. Okay, and our final stop is a Shire. Yes, a Shire. As you can see from the photos, these are built almost exactly out of the Lord of the Rings trilogy kind of feel and the Hobbit kind of feel, uh, built into the side of the, of the um, kind of what hills and with shire type of scenery and access this is in montana and is another fantastic place for you to go on your next vacation now before we wrap it up i want to show you one more thing now this is not having to do with uh, a location but this is an article i found from the condé nest traveler that talks about the current uh, travel restrictions in each state some states are restricting access from outside uh, states, depending on if you currently live in a place considered to be um, in a spike or in an outbreak. So I wanna go ahead and I'm, we'll link this below so that you can refer to this. Now, this is dated as of October 2nd. If you are going later in the year, you're gonna wanna look for current situation, because as you know, it is changing constantly. But if you're going anytime soon, these are the current situations uh, state by state. For instance, Alaska, you have to complete a declaration form. Uh, Hawaii, I know you have to quarantine for two weeks. And then each state is listed in here, depending on where you're going, what the current restrictions are. So before you head out, make sure, and actually before you plan your travel, make sure you're looking at something like this or on each state's uh, direct COVID website so that you know what you might have to face if you're going to be crossing state lines and visiting someplace else this year. Alrighty, so that wraps up the eight most kind of quirky, unique places that I found in America. Now, again, this is only scratching the surface. There are so many other places that you can go. Uh, looking on that quirkyacom.com, which I will link below. Also looking at the um, Airbnb unique places, but those are just two websites. There are so many other amazing, cool, funky, unique places that you can stay in America. And so I encourage you to get out, especially this year if you're traveling soon and you can't travel abroad. Let's dig into America. There's so much to see and do uh, that you can have a fantastic vacation even by staying pretty close to home. Alrighty, so if you are ready to plan your next vacation and you're ready to make those reservations, go ahead and take a look at this video here. These are our how to use Google hotels to find the best rates, when to go, and all of the details that you need to plan a fantastic vacation. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And other than that, I will see you on the next video.